Hello and welcome to this lesson where we're going to continue talking about output to the screen and teaching you how to format it just a little bit more just to show you how you can format that. Now first let's start with a simple output of some random text to the screen. So system.out.println and notice it tries to autofill in with some material. We'll just put our double quotes and say my name is Jason Gibson. Put a period. Notice that I have a red uh, squiggly there it's telling me to put that semicolon there and when I clean up my line this is exactly how it looks so let me go ahead and save it and we'll run this uh, snippet here and you can see the output console says my name is Jason Gibson now let me show you two things the first one is remember if you want to put uh, if you want to skip lines if you want to uh, put some text on another line you could put another system out print line command right underneath it and you can continue going line by line and have as many as you want However, there's a shortcut to that. Um, my name is Jason Gibson, so let me change this to a comma, let's just say, and let me go to another line. The way you put a, a force a line feed uh, in your output is you put a backslash and then an N. Okay, that means new line. So the backslash, that's not a forward slash, that's a backslash on your keyboard. Uh, and I love steak. All right. So the way you read this is my name is Jason Gibson, comma, new line, and I love steak. So let's save that and give it a run. And you can see my name is Jason Gibson and I love steak is on a new line. So this way I can fit everything and, and format it on two lines without having two different outputs. You know, I could have had system out print line and I could have had the second part of it in another um, in another line there in another command. Uh, and another call to, to that print line uh, method there, but it's easier to handle it this way. All right, so let's go ahead and show you how you can use this to your advantage to uh, save yourself some space in your code. So let's go and do system.out.println. Let's say we wanted to count down uh, from 5 to 0. So let's go 5, do a, a line break, backslash n, 4, backslash n is another line break, 3 backslash n. Now for 2 and 1, let's go ahead and skip down farther. Uh, let's go ahead and give us two line breaks for number 2, and then backslash n, backslash n. That gives us two more line breaks, 1, and then finally backslash n, n, n. Let's give us four different line breaks, and we'll say blast off, exclamation point. Notice we have to put a semicolon at the end of that line. We will save it. Let's go ahead and run it and see what we have. Let's scroll up to the top. We still have our first statement, my name is Jason, I love steak. You have five, four, three, and then you skip two lines to the number two, two lines to the number one, two line or several lines, in this case, one, two, three, four lines to blast off. So backslash n is what is going to get, let you skip down however many lines you, uh, you need to. And in this case, it's a lot better than having a ton of different system.out.println commands there. All right, now I want to show you one final one here system.out.println, right, like this. Go ahead and put our semicolon there and let's fill in what we're going to type in. Uh, let's create a sentence where we have to circle an answer. So, do you like me? And then I will do circle one, slash, backslash T, yes, backslash T, no. Backslash T means tab. Backslash T means tab here. So what I'm doing is tabbing to get to yes, tabbing to get to no, and I should be spacing out those guys and skipping them a little bit farther from the question mark. So the backslash N skips you down, the backslash T tabs you over. So we hit run, we go look at the bottom, do you like me? Yes, no. And you can see that there are some spaces there. If the space that it puts between the question mark isn't quite enough for you, you can always add another backslash T there and run it again and you can see that you can do some basic outputting. So it's not giving you word processor like you know clarity, but you can use the backslash n to skip down when you're doing your print uh, printing to the console. You can use backslash t to tab over if you want to space things out into columns or for any other reason when you need to space things out. So what I want you to do here is make sure you understand everything in this lesson. Pretty simple concepts. Then follow and go on to the exercises. Read what the uh, exercise is here and try it yourself before watching the video solution. That way you'll get good at programming by building your skills. You won't be memorizing anything. You'll be learning by doing.